when diplomacy ends war begins hello everyone my name is vikram sharma and i welcome you all to my youtube channel the topic that we are going to discuss today is nedo nedo stands for north atlantic treaty organization see uh, we need to understand about that why there is a ongoing recently from february 2022 a ukrainian as well as a russo crisis that are going on between the two important nation states of the world we need to understand about that what is the role of the united states of america into that as well as what is the role of the nato see nato is the relic of the cold war era we have to remember about this but we need to understand everything from the roots not a layer of that we need to go into the depth of the topic that how the organization was formed and why uh, what is the reason because we have not seen that the nato has participated into the ukrainian war but we are seeing that the reason is the nato but it is outside the court so it is very much important to understand that why the nato is a subject matter into this dispute okay so you can see north atlantic treaty organization the motto is one for all all for one attack on one will be considered as attack on all that is the collective defense pact basically this is our part 1 i have i will be constructing two videos on this okay i will assure you that what we will be discussing into this will be very 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 much important for you it will be a very exceptional information i request you that if you find anything important please take a pen and a page or a register and write down the important facts and figures associated with that the questions from the topic of nato could be asked into the upsc civil services political science and international relation optional it could also be asked into the gs2 international relations but it is quite difficult into the contemporary years the examiner could ask about that because they could ask about this that uh, could india become a member to the nato into the future or not what could be the benefit or what could be the limitations to the india by joining the membership to the nato all these things okay so basically we are having this as the part 1 so let's understand about this so as i told you into the starting of the video that firstly we have to understand about the basics so it was a time period of the 1939 to 1945 when the world war 2 started under the world war 2 the powers were divided into two parts allied powers as well as the axis power axis powers the ruled by the germany Germany at that time was ruled by the Adolf Hitler, Japan Hirohito, the emperor, as well as the Italy, the dictator, the uh, fascist dictator we can say Benito Mussolini. On the other side, we are having the Allied powers, United States of America, USSR, UK, France, and China. There is a list of other countries also, but we have written about the main countries. Now, what happened into this? We need to understand. See, USA and USSR or the Russia, they are. jointly they are fighting into the war but we see that after 1945 there is a high level of antagonism among, among the two superpowers now what is the genesis of that that we need to understand into this video okay now as all of you know about this that usa dropped uh, nuclear bombs on the hiroshima and nagasaki now we need to understand about one thing that when uh, during that time pre world war 2 it was a time period of 1935 to 1937 usa has initiated a program it was called as the project trinity or project manhattan and the in charge of this program was a american scientist j robert oppenheimer and he was a very big religious follower of the hindu textbook bhagavad gita okay so when we understand about this that what is the relation as usa started developing the nuclear bombs it was a very secret plan of the united states of america usa informed uk about this but it didn't inform the russia okay because usa knew about this that russia is a communist power and we do not have the same ideology because usa was following the democracy with capitalism and ussr was the first communist state of the world following the ideology of the marxism so usa into the 1945 there are number of theories related to this that the uh, japan was ready to surrender some people say that japan was not ready to surrender we are not related with that theories we only know about this that usa dropped nuclear bombs on the hiroshima and nagasaki without informing the 
even the Russia also. This was a betrayal towards the Russia that was committed by the USA. The leader of the Russia at that time was a Joseph Stalin. He was not happy to see this thing by the Russia, it, uh, by the USA, and uh, he considered it it as a kind of the backstabbing done by the uh, USA on the Russia. And USA dropped two atomic bombs, Little Boy and the Fat Man. Okay, these were the two. Uh, atomic bombs that were uh, dropped by the U United States of America on the Japan. Okay, now after this, USA rise as a superpower. William R. Fox, he used the term superpower. 1945. Now, as a result of this, what happened? That a high level of antagonism, a distrust, okay, started emerging between the two superpowers. Allied powers won. We know about that USA, China, Russia, UK, France, they won. But distancing started between the USA and the USSR. Because Europe, what happened after the World War II, Europe was completely devastated. Now it was the, uh, the USSR and the USA were inclined towards attracting the Europe. But Europe needs the money. Why it needs the money? Because it needs the reconstruction after the World War II. And Europe needs security. Because after this, nobody was... Uh, inclined towards each other. Nobody was having a trust over each other that at any point of time the World War III could happen. So both USA and USSR started spreading their ideology. So USA started spreading their ideology that is the democracy with capitalism and USSR sta started spreading communism and socialism. Uh, th this is basically 1945 the ideological war started which is called as the Cold War. Cold War means a high level of antagonism or distrust existing between two superpowers. Cold War, Cold War was not entirely cold. There were covert operations, secret operations conducted by the superpowers. Okay. Now, as we know that the Cold War started, but uh, now what has to be done? We need to understand about this formation of NATO. How NATO was formed? Now, as I've told you that the Europe wanted two things. One is the economic reconstruction and second is the defense. Now listen it very properly. It will be asked into your examination. Now for the economic, in 1944, 44 nations conducted a meeting in the USA and an organization was formed that is called as the Bretton Woods. Bretton Woods was having two institutions. One is the IMF and second is the World Bank. Simplified. To counter this, USSR also developed something Council for Mutual Economic Assistance. But USSR was a very Leviathan kind of institution, so it was not able to handle it properly. The, the entire because they have to give uh, the fund to the successor states also because there are number of countries into the USSR. So for the defense that we will provide you the security, USA formed the NATO, okay, and USSR formed the Warsaw. Okay, simplified for the economic, they formed the Bretton Woods, IMF and World Bank. The USSR formed the CMEA, Council for Mutual Economic Assistance. And for the defense, the USA formed the NATO and USSR formed the Warsaw. Let's firstly understand about the facts and figures about the NATO. The NATO stands for North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It is having two official languages. One is the English and second is the French. So you can see. In the French, it is written as OTIN. Okay. Now it is spelled as Organisation de Tratia, the Atlantic North. Okay. So when we understand about that, it is having basically the two languages that are used into the NATO. It is a collective defense pact of 31 member states because on April 4, 2023, the uh, what you talk about this, uh, the Finland joined the NATO. What is the principle? Article 5 of NATO says attack on one will be considered as attack on all. If there will be attack on any of the member states, it, all the other member states will give a befitting reply. More animus in consul than the labor. A mind unfettered in deliberation. When it was formed, April 4, 1949, and its headquarters are located into the Brussels, Belgium. So this was a basic information about the NATO. Similarly, to counter this, the USSR formed the Warsaw Pact into the Poland. Okay, Treaty of Friendship, Cooperation and the Mutual Assistance founded on May 14, 1955. NATO was formed in 1949. It is formed in 1955. Place Warsaw, Poland, July 1991. And these are the member states. Because as we know that the this uh, uh, USSR was a very big system. So they need more funds. 
so they made huge expenditure on the defense sector okay now you know about why nato was formed to protect the western allies warsaw was formed to protect the ussr as well as their allies okay now into the year 1991 ussr got disintegrated now with the disintegration of the ussr warsaw will also get dissolved now you are getting my point or not with the disintegration of the ussr the warsaw was also dissolved now the question arises on this organization what about the future of the nato okay th this was the main thing okay that we will be discussing into our part 2 okay i am very much thankful to all of you for listening to me please meet me and continue we'll continue with the part 2 in which we'll understand about the nato and the russo ukrainian war thank you all